Aussie Villain and welcome to episode 84 of Raise the Holt. Now since last episode where we lifted the World Club Championship, just the one game, it was a potential banana skin away to, sorry, at home to Crystal Palace. But as you can see, we won the game 4-0. Uh, we had three goals from Jordan Cameron, one from Callum Mosley. We got off to a little bit of a slow start in the first half. You can see we're just 1-0 up in half time, but we really grew into the game in the second half and 4-0 was a more than deserved uh, win, I think, and a very good score for us. You can see league table-wise, we're three points ahead of Liverpool. We are, what's that, seven ahead of Arsenal. We have a game in hand on Liverpool. And of course, this episode, we play Arsenal in the league away from home, and then we're at home to Liverpool in the Carabao Cup quarterfinal. Our invincible season, this is the biggest test we've had yet, isn't it? Because you can see third in the league away, second in the league at home in a cup game. This is going to be tough. But it is Arsenal away from home in the league first of up. And this is the team we're going with. We've got Golini in goal, Vendrongel and Magnelli, Kone across the back. Kone, we're going to try and forgive him from that red card last episode, but he's still very much in the bad books. Mings and Stemankovic down the wings. Lima and Luis Felipe in midfield with Ali, Gonzalez and Callum Mosley leading the line. Okay, so we can see Arsenal lining up. Kevin De Bruyne's gone there now. Interesting. Iwobi, who is just absolute class, tends to score against us too, I think, doesn't he? Uh, challenge them where they left off. Let's go with a... Maybe do it for the fans, I think. I think he may be a passionate... Give the fans a performance. Then the old calm, we have faith. The old tried and tested. And let's see what we can do here. All right, this game too, it's Golini's 200th game for uh, for the club, which is quite the milestone, isn't it? Uh, our beleaguered goalkeeper at times. Oof, it's a tackle. Hopefully just a yellow. It's just a warning. Um, yeah, so that's a good achievement for Golini. He has been in that for us for quite a amount of time now, hasn't he? Almost, well, season two, wasn't he? Because he was out on loan wherever he was when we were in the championship. Um, I should say, too, all the goals from this month, not just the Palace game, but uh, all of December, they'll be available uh, goals a month after the Liverpool game. So make sure you stick around for them. There's been quite a few, um, quite a few good ones, too. So definitely worth st sticking around for. Now, the problem that we're finding, too, with that World Club Championship, let's see if we can get this clear, we can well done, Stamankovic, is that not only have we had that, we've now come back to festive fixtures and pretty much our entire squad is at uh, an increased injury risk so it's just sort of a bit of a balancing act right now trying to keep players fresh not have players injure themselves I'm pretty sure that's what happened to uh, James Wilson when he did his hamstring um, was just he just played too many games so that hamstring went pop so I'm trying to avoid that whilst keeping this unbeaten run going um, and it's just all it's all quite the balancing act right now and yeah, I mean, I'd like to have an invincible season, but I just get the feeling that one of these games here, we are uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna miss out, unfortunately. Um, but I think it's I think it would be better if we can beat Liverpool after this to go for, if we can win all the trophies. That that is quite the achievement. Um, if you know if we lose a game in the league, it's not what we want. It, it would be nice, wouldn't it, to to potentially do an Arsenal go invincible. Um, but we're playing so many games, I'm just not sure it's going to be possible. It's a good tackle from... It's the second good... Well, the first tackle from Calamoso, I guess, was a foul. So maybe it wasn't necessarily a good tackle. But shows he's putting himself about. Can he get onto that? He can. Gets the cross into the box for Gonzalez! Go <laughs> A nice ball through. I think it was Ali. It was Deli Ali. Played a nice pass here in behind for Mosley to run into. And look at this for a cross. He's picked him out perfectly. Gonzalez has made the run. Side foot volley home. 1-0 to Villa. Can the run go on beyond Arsenal? I think... Well, there's quite a few big tests, isn't there? I mean, Manchester United's coming good again. Manchester City is on their day quite the team. Uh, Chelsea, obviously, and then Liverpool, but... This is this is a really big test for us. If we can come through this, um, still unbeaten, then that is that's one major hurdle that we've overcome. Um, so I think we'll, we'll say things are going well, but they're capable of better. Uh, we'll go through, make uh, some individual team talks here, and we'll come back for the second half. Okay. So thinking of subs, Stamenkovic is is pushing the limit, and he does have a history of of uh, of some injuries as does Magnanelli um 
I'd like to, <laughs> to keep Stum and Kev- Stem and Kovic, I should say, uh, available for as many games as possible. I'm thinking, though, we, we're gonna, we might have to rest him against Liverpool. We can bring James Bree in, who is fine. He's no Stem and Kovic, but he's fine. If we have an opportunity, there's a good pass for, for Mosley to run on to. Can Mosley cross it in? He can for Gonzalez! Oh! That was a big chance to double our lead. Was it must have been a save, so it's a really good save in the end, isn't it? Not the best corner from Luis Felipe, though. Can we get onto that note? It's gone to De Bruyne. We're backing off him a little bit. See, this is the we're dropping off slightly and not playing our usual high line to try and Arsenal tend to score goals from through balls. Oh, that's a lunging tackle. Uh, did we win the ball? Oh, he's won it again. Who is that? Lima, absolute beast. Having seen that, it makes me wonder if perhaps we should look to uh, to play that high line again. De Bruyne is quick, though. All right, let's see. All action in this second half, isn't it? A lot of Arsenal action, on, which is unfortunate for us. You wonder if we're going to live to regret that Gonzalez miss. Uh, it's one all. Alex Awobi scores again. I'm I'm not liking this uh, backing off. I just I feel like it's it's not. It's not working for us. Let's maybe just go normal. Let the defense sort of pick their moments to push up and to drop off. I know it's it's not necessarily the line in that. I just, I like to get up. At it. Uh, it was just Stem and Kovic didn't win the header, I think, as much as anything. But I always feel like a high line just protects you from that. Which is maybe just me being wishful, but, you know, that's... Right, let's give them a demand more here. We're looking motivated. Stemakovic is looking nervous. He's being a little bit quiet too, isn't he? All right, Mings with the throw into Deli Alley. Cross to Stemakovic. Acres of space. This makes me think we should exploit the flank, seeing him in that much space. He's beaten one. He has got the cross in early. It's for two Menzers there to clear it. Are we going to get counterattack? Stemakovic is dropping back into his defensive position nicely, which is good to see. He's up against Alex Awobi, and we know he is he is a danger man for us. Wallace across to Odegaard. He's trying to run through the middle, lays it off. Look, we have enough men back that this should be a... Oh, it's a, it's, oh Lima again. What a beast in midfield he is being. He's got to be close to our men of the match, I think, certainly for his defensive work. Oh, Both the midfielders there, they were chasing the same man. De Bruno's there. Oh, Wallace is left open again. Oh, decent save. Oh, there's a lunge. That's it's a goal kick. That looked red cardish, didn't it, from Stamenkovic there. All right, let's give them maybe some encouragement when we can. In terms of subs, Mings isn't having his best game. Delhi Alley's not having his best game. I think... It, Maybe we'll take Ali off for Patrick Roberts. Patrick Roberts, we know he can run at a defense as well as sort of play a ball as well and get onto the end of an attack as well. We've seen him score quite a few goals doing that for us as well. Oh, I'm just, I'm getting a little bit nervous here. This 1-1, one, one, the run is on the line. Odegaard's there, so is Mings. Oh, Mings... Doesn't always track his men, but oh, that's a horrible pass from Magnanelli. What's he done? Oh, that's that was lucky. That <laughs> that could have been a lot worse for us. Uh, let's give them a concentrate. Mings again here into Paddy Roberts. What can he go? Goes to the outside, crosses in for Mosley. Not much space for Mosley to operate in. Lima. Picks up the header from Van Drongel and Magnanelli. It's a long ball for Magnanelli. That's not what we need. Van Drongelen's there again, as is. Was that Lima or was Luis Felipe? Oh, we're, we're, not, we're, not, we're not doing things right here. We're rushing things. We're going to concede if we keep doing that. Too much space. Magnanelli's well positioned. All right, can we find the pass this time? Patrick Roberts. Oh, it's a horrible pass again. Stemankovic is there. This is just absolutely horrid football, but we may have found ourselves. Look at the man in the middle. So much space. Paddy Roberts! (laughs) 
That was non-league quality football, but when the era merry-go-round stopped, or when the music stopped, we found ourselves with a chair, and look at that. That analogy is horrible. It's gone all over the place, except Patrick Roberts' ball, which has gone straight into the back of the net. All right, let's, let's have a think about this now. We have not played well. We think we're going to drop Lima. Uh, do we sub the sub is the big question here. Can Paddy Roberts... He can drop in. Okay, we can drop Paddy Roberts in. We might... We won't get carried away here, but what we will do is we'll go to standard. We will just look to lower the tempo. We will look to retain possession, stay on feet, be more disciplined, stick to positions and cross our fingers because this has not been our finest performance yet we find ourselves with five minutes to go 2-1 up away to Arsenal and there's a lot of big games still to come this season but this is one of the biggest hurdles we'll have to overcome if we are to, to go invincible All right, so let's just there we go well done Van Drongel is really calm on the ball, isn't he? It was really, really nicely done. It's got over the top for Mosley. He should have the pay. Oh, it's well defended. Just blocked his run, didn't he? All right, let's... Oh, that's too much space for a Wobie. Come on, Stemenkovic. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not. hasn't even been a minute. Oh, that's, that's infuriating. What the hell was that? I mean, Kone is just standing there like, oh, the ball. Magnanelli should have... Uh, oh, that is just absolutely... And I just gave them a concentrate shout as well. Um, oh, I'm so angry. Look at that. When did we score? We scored 84 minutes and 36 seconds. 85 minutes, 50, they equalized. That is absolutely infuriating. Um... All right, well, we'll just go back to what we had, I guess. Uh, we'll go with the normal. Uh, I might tell him to retain possession anyway. He might just look to control the game, maybe. I don't understand what we were doing there. All right, let's try, see if we can. We got, one, we got one goal. There's no reason why we can't get another. Uh, although we just conceded one. There's no reason why we can't concede another as well, is there? Right, Mings is back. Well done down to Paddy Roberts. Out to Felipe. We have men forward. He picks his pass. One more for Mosley. One more for Mosley. There it is. Come on, Callum Mosley. Do it for us, son. Callum Mosley! Oh. <laughs> oh, was that the chance? Mosley had such a wonderful start to the season, and he's just, just starting to wean a little bit. He's only young, so we probably can't expect him to be scoring for fun for the entire season. But you really wish he would have taken that one. All right, De Bruno, that's a horrible shot. That's not going to trouble us. Let's just give it a concentrate. Let's... You know what? If we can just get to the final whistle now. There it is. You know what? Not not bad. We, should, we shouldn't have won it. But we just think that gold chance at the end there for Mr. Mosley. Oh, that's such a shame. Uh, we'll go it was disappointing because it wasn't good enough. Um... We'll tell Magnan, uh, what's his face? Golini, he was unlucky. Uh, Van Drongelen will just calm. 6.7 as a match rating. It's not good enough. And on we go. Well, the important thing is that the unbeaten run, the invincible season, is still going. If we look at the table, you can see that puts us four points ahead of uh, Liverpool, keeps us... Oh, my maths is so woeful, isn't it? Seven points keeps us ahead of Arsenal. Uh, equal gains now, so that's not bad. We can we can deal with that. In terms of the season, that was not a bad result. Uh, so wait right there. We'll be back for the Carabao Cup quarterfinal against Liverpool. Okay, welcome back. It's Liverpool. It's the Carabao Cup quarterfinal, and it is another big test. They are sitting second in the league, and this is the team that we are going with. We're going to stick with Golini in goal. Uh, Van Drongelen, Raul Rodriguez comes into defence along with Lee and Cadden. Uh, Hans Daly and James Bree go down the wings. We've got Ahmed, uh, Ahmed Zovic. We've got Doyle Hayes and Joyce in midfield. We've got Roberts, Cameron and the Boob up top. We're going to play Boob actually as an advanced forward though. Um, and we're going to play him as a target man. Um, okay, so let's see what we can do here. Let's hope we can get to the semi-finals.
Okay, so we can see the way Liverpool's lining up. A little bit defensive in midfield there, which is perhaps surprising. I don't think that's how the scouts are expecting it to line up. Uh, Rebrov says do it for the fans. Uh, I see no reason not to go along with that. Uh, then some calm faith. Thought about going passionate then, but we'll keep it calm. And let's go out there and let's see what we can do. Oh, ho, this is massive, isn't it? This, of course, is um, the, the, the perfect season in terms of trophy on the line here, isn't it? This is the Carabao Cup, and obviously, if we want to have a perfect trophy season, seven trophies it would be, uh, we need to be winning this game. Early cross in for the boob. Now, their keeper's good, actually. He's a young Russian. He probably isn't that young anymore. I did look at signing him at one point, uh, but he was just a little bit too expensive. But you can see he's, he's quite good. Uh, still only 21 um, I think that was just after we'd bought Pereira, though. Uh, Joyce knocks a free kick in. It's well-headed clear, isn't it? Uh, Joyce picks it up again, though. It's still there for us. We're eight minutes into the game here. Paddy Roberts, he turns, he turns. Paddy Roberts to Van Drongelen. We're sort of running into dead ends here a little bit. Back to Joyce. All right, we're going to build from the back again. That's okay. Doyle Hayes out to Van Drongelen. Back into Joyce. Joyce. Holds it, holds it. Back to Joyce. Wow, we are really utilizing Joyce as the deep line playmaker. There's a good pass out for Bree. Can Bree find a cross? We know we've got Cameron in the middle. We've got the boob. It's a penalty. It's a penalty. It's going to be the boob to take the penalty. Now, we've seen him knock him one or two already, haven't we? But he's still young. He's still not quite established himself as a first choice penalty taker. What can he do? Oh, what a penalty that is. That is absolute quality, top corner, unstoppable. Into, I think that even hit the side net before it hit the back. And everyone loves a goal that hits the side net before it hits the back. The only thing possibly better than that is a ball that hits the roof of the net before it hits the back of the net. But that that is nice. All right, now let's not do what we did against Arsenal and try and hold the lead here for more than, say, 30 seconds. It's a cross in. Breeze there. Well done. Joyce heads clear. Roberts completes the clearance. We're out the camera. And can we launch a counter-attack here? Cameron, he has the boob up in support. He doesn't bless with pace. He does find boob. Go on, son. It's off the back to heels of to Joyce. I can't speak. Out the hands. Injured daily. Gets the cross in for Cameron. <laughs> Nil an injured daily. What a cross that is. This you can kind of see in flashes what we could have if we can get him fit, if we can get him trained as the left winger. Look at that cross. Cameron rises majestically and knocks it into the back of the net. Cameron is I, I, sometimes I just absolutely love this team to pieces. Cameron in the air is an absolute beast. And if we can get him, and I guess long term it would be Callum Mosley, wouldn't it? With his pa uh, pace and finishing. This team could go anywhere. You think, too, you know, if we have Stemankovic and Injured Daly going down the wings, oh, that's things that we could achieve. All right, back into Joyce with the throw. It's across to James Bree. Bree takes on his man, beats him. Oh, James Bree. He does get his fair uh, share of goals, does, uh, does James Bree. You see occasionally goals of the month um, that he pops up. He actually will pop up this uh, this month as well. The end of the, after this game, of course, the goals of the month will be up, so... Stick around for that to see a James Bree goal. Oh, post, was it? It was post. A little bit lucky there, perhaps. But that clearance from Ben Drongel and straight to the feet of Cameron. And we're launching attack again. Crosses it for the boob. He has Paddy Roberts with him. He finds him. No, he doesn't. Nastasic still going. Uh, he's covered well there. Right, let's give it a concentrate, can we? No, not quite yet. Hands Daly is now on a booking. It's a little bit concerning, given that he's not... A natural defender. He is very much being uh, pigeonholed into that role for now, but we are retraining him. And like I keep saying, really high hopes for him as a left wing back, especially uh, in an attacking sense. Uh, is that half time though? That's 2 0. That is not too bad at all. The other one of the other quarterfinals, you can see Tottenham's beating Millwall. Uh, he says go out with a clear mind. I'm going to say we've been okay. We haven't been great. Uh, don't let your performance levels drop. 
that seems to work. Hands daily will give him an assertive, don't get a yellow, and out we go. So we have, uh, we have Zeela on the bench. Um, if we can maybe get another one or get to say 60, 70 minutes, uh, two goals up, we might look to bring him on, um, give him some game time, and of course, just make sure we're resting uh, Patrick Roberts as well. After this game, we have a Saturday, Monday, Wednesday, Saturday week. We have four games in a week. So <laughs> that's going to both test the squad and the unbeaten record. So if I can give... Uh, someone like Patrick Roberts 20, 30 minutes off, then I would very much like to do that. Um, but the more I think about it, I think winning all the trophies is a good cross in for Cameron. Oh, off the bar, was it? I think winning seven trophies is better than going undefeated in the league. So I, I think, let me know in the comments what you think, I, but I'm, I'm thinking that's the better achievement. Um, almost obviously it is, isn't it? It's about winning trophies, I guess. So... If we have to sacrifice a, a le league game, then perhaps you know that's what we need to do. But I do want to make sure we we get through this tie. Uh, now that said, Patrick Roberts isn't having his best game, so it's perhaps not the worst game to rest him anyway. Hands injured daily. What can he do from the free kick? It's decent, but it's just over the bar. He does have uh, quite a good uh, free kick on him as well, actually. Um. All right, I think maybe the time has come. We'll give Paddy Roberts a rest. We'll bring Z-Law on. And if it starts to go badly, we do have Deli Alley on the bench as well, so we can look to bring him on. Um, but Z-Law's never really let us down, I don't think. There's one or two games. The Charity Shield against Chelsea a couple of seasons ago springs to mind. Um, but he, he does do quite well for us. Speak of the devil, Z-Law. Back out to Bree. Can Bree find a cross? He can to Cameron. Oh, he's put it over the bar when it would have been easier to score, surely. One thing Zelo does do really well, actually, especially uh, in that attacking playmaker role, is just drift out to the left because he's naturally a left winger and he can uh, knock in a mean cross. And if we have uh, Cameron in the middle as we do this game, um, he can uh, he can prove quite, uh, quite potent. All right, here we go. Injured daily with a throw. It's gone into Joyce. Thought he was going to lose the ball, but he's done well to keep it there. Up to Doyle Hayes. Doyle Hayes on a booking makes me nervous sometimes too, especially that he is the ball-winning midfielder. All right, we're keeping the ball nicely here. Look at these triangles. Up to Zelo. Now, can Zelo find a cross? No, he's, he's a little bit unlucky there. Didn't get much uh, much time. It was a bit of a lunging tackle from Klein, but he's back on the ball now. Crosses it in for Cameron. Oh! <laughs> What was I saying about Zelo knocking in crosses for uh, for Jordan Cameron? Uh, exhibit A, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit, a uh, little bit higher up the pitch. Sometimes he does it sort of from back in this area. He gets the cross in, but that was more from the byline. Knocked it to the back post, and there was Cameron to knock it in. Two nil. Uh, sorry, two goals for Cameron. Three nil. That is surely the game. We'll look to rest uh, some players here. The boob is exhausted. Molino doesn't get that many games for us. So, well, actually, the boob was picked up a knock, has the bruised knee. So, that shouldn't be too bad. Um, we might even. Should we rest? No, Van Drogelin's played this much of the game. We might as well leave him out there. And um, if we need to rest him in the next. I think Stoke's up next. So, we can always rest him there. Uh, of course, Real Gonzalez, Real Gonzalez, Real Rodriguez will always play these cup games because he's able to play them. He's not able to play in the league as of yet. Um, although when the squad registration comes um, is opened again in January, I'm thinking we might take out Alex, um, who's left back, and we've been using Josh Crampton, who's been doing really well for us as sort of the third choice behind Mings and Daly. And I think we might... It's a good cross in again there. I think we might um, take Alex out. We might even register Gonzalez for the for the Premier League squad. It's an issue of foreign play limits. Uh, that's the problem with, with Real Rodriguez and uh, Alex sort of takes up one of those slots. Right now, there's the ball for Zelo. Go on, Zelo. <laughs> what a goal that is. That's you look back at this. The build-up play, intricate little passing. Cameron back to Joyce, to Molyneux, into 
to Zelaw. That's actually a really, really nice team goal, isn't it? And well finished across the keeper from young Zelaw. He's proving his point, isn't he? He should, should have been starting this game. We need to have more faith in him. Corner comes in from injured daily. Zelaw picks it up, knocks another one back in, full of confidence. Look at that. That is surely the game. There it is. Semi-finals of the Carabao Cup coming up 4-0 against Liverpool. And to think we were worried, or I was worried about this game. Absolutely wonderful stuff. On our day, we can beat anybody by anything, can't we? A passionate well done, boys, and on we go. Dominant win for the villains. Very nicely done. So that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed that, give me a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe. You can see we're on quite the run of form here. We're going for a zero red dot season. Um, we didn't even lose a pre-guest season friendly. What a green sea that is. Uh, so we'll be back next time. I think we'll come back, maybe Liverpool in the league. I think that's going to be the next big game there, isn't it? Liverpool in the league, away, oh, sorry, at home. So we'll come back for Liverpool in the league, Leicester City as well. That'll be next episode. Until then, thank you very much for watching. I've been Aussie Villain, and here are some of our best goals from December. Take care. Just before we get to goals of the month, have a look at this. One of our academy players named after you guys, Callum Mosley, has been named as European Golden Boy. 20-year-old Callum Mosley put in a, good, a string of good performances this year, scoring 18 goals in 29 games with an average of 7.32. That puts Callum Mosley in the same bracket of player as Kylian Mbappe. Well, maybe not Renato Sanchez. We know that uh, things are going south for him. But look at this. Anthony Martial, Raheem Sterling, Paul Pogba, Isco, Mario Balotelli, Mario Goetze, uh, Pato, Sergio Aguero, Lionel Messi is in Wayne Rooney, Van der Vaart. But look at Lionel Messi and Callum Mosley can now be mentioned in the same breath. Well done. What an excellent way to finish uh, this episode. Now, goals of the month.